What's up guys and gals? Welcome back to the Nerd Castle for the next episode of Party Hard, the first episode. Incidentally, my name is Splattercat and I'm happy to have you here today as we hang out for a little while and murder some fools that are keeping us awake late into the night. If you've never seen the game before, Party Hard is a game in which you are woken up by your neighbors at 3am and your job is to go over there and stab them all with knives until they stop partying. Nothing kills a party like a knifing. So anyways, let's start the game off. There's going to be a lot of stuff to get done. I found this game to be pretty fun. I worked on a review for it for a couple of days. But then I found that I had played it so much that I was just like, well, why don't I just play it on the channel then? That would be kind of fun. Let's play it on the channel, shall we? That's, that requires me to click new game, so let's go for it. My name is Inspector John West. I was... Take your time, Mr. West. Deep breaths. You want a drink? Whiskey. Hold the rocks. <laughs> Hold the rocks? Hilarious, Mr. West. Fuck you. My name is Inspector John West. I was the officer in command on the Party Hard Killings. Can you describe to me exactly what the Party Hard Killings were? They were a series of murders strung across the U.S. during the autumn break of 2000, exclusively taking place in and around house parties, rooftop parties, cruise parties, you name it. This guy was there, stabbing his way through the crowds. And what was the motive, Mr. West? This guy, he just wanted some peace and quiet. Maybe you should start from the beginning, Inspector. It might give us a better idea of where this all went so wrong. I love the fact that he just has a drawer full of knife. And like, well, I like to keep my violent implements organized, so I'm going to file this one under N for nicest knife. You thought I was going to do the old knife is spelled with N joke. Nope. So we move around with WASD. Our character is wearing, I think, a hockey mask, skinny jeans, and a V-neck. I'd have to kill somebody, too, if I was in that ensemble. Just on principle, I'm like, well, my wardrobe can't get any worse. Might as well go murder some people. And take that. That's what he gets, and we press E to kill people. That's all there is to the game. And then you hold down the control key to let you see where all the booby traps on the level are. And so basically, it's like a very, very deadly version of Home Alone. I feel like I just murdered obese Morgan Spurlock. No more documentaries for me, all based loosely around 31 days of something happening. Burn to death! And so if you press the space bar in front of a booby trap, you make him do a little fire dance right there inside the coals. He enjoyed it. This guy has like night vision cow head goggles on. I'm not even sure what those are supposed to be. But I feel like my life is lacking because I don't have them. Like, why don't I have night vision cow head goggles that I can wear all the time? I'd wear them constantly. It would be the best. You can read these newspapers on the ground too, I think. Let's take a look here. Oh, never mind. Maybe that only starts in the next level. And so this last lady over here who appears to be wearing some kind of, I don't know, pink fuzzy thing around her shoulders like she's going on stage in a minute. She is the final stabby. Like, there's stabby and then there's stabby. Stabby is the person who has been stabbed. Look it up in the dictionary. It's there, I promise you. And party dance time. He does his own little dance party whenever he murders everybody at the party. I don't know. Nothing puts him in the mood like stabbing. One of my officers responded to a call near North Beach. It was the end of April, so typically a bunch of the college kids in the area were getting hammered instead of prepping for their finals. If only the stupid bastards knew. Alright, welcome to the first level. This is how the game plays out. There's always going to be loads and loads of people, and you got to take them out without getting caught by the cops. That's the entire game. And so when you stab somebody, if somebody sees you stabbing them, or if they see you standing next to a body later, they will call the police, and the police will come here and chase you around the map. Now, you can dodge the police by setting traps for them, or just by running from them long enough that they give up, or by using spare clothing. Are these people making out on a toilet? I will say that that is a romantic experience that I have never had. Nothing gets me in the frisky mood like a toilet at a party. Uh, it's surrounded by a green ring of grossness. Hold on, this needs to stop. Stab, stab, stab. Stab, 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 stab. I love the music in this game. It makes me feel very murdery. Doesn't this seem like the sort of game that Andrew WK would have something to do with? Like, all of his songs are about killing or partying hard. That's his entire repertoire of subjects. But like, hmm, what song do I want to write today, Andrew WK, a.k.a. myself? Is it a song about killing, or is it a song about partying hard? How about we combine them into a video game for once, with a techno background? And you'd be all good to go. I like Andrew WK. It's like one of those unique types of music that you just like. The second you hear it, you're like, yeah! It's like the Electric Light Parade at Disneyland got more metal. 
there are a lot of dead people in there, so what can we interact with? We got all kinds of stuff here. Ooh, I can poison the keg. Poison the keg! Poison the keg! I always like it when I murder. I like to do it to a classical theme. Preferably, up. Oh, you're now sick. Have fun with your bubble gut. That is gonna suck for you. Give her a nice little case. Don't dance when you got rumble gut. That's a terrible. Have you ever seen those videos? People pooping themselves when they twerk? Exactly. Don't do it. Oh, this is 2000. This is pre-twerk times. PT, as I like to call it. We also have one of the Wayans brothers over here walking around. Let's just stop this film travesty from happening forever. Right now. Yep. There it is. We just saved ourselves from 25 years of shitty movies. Hooray! Stab that guy over there. Oh, somebody found one of our bodies. And so what's going to happen when they find a body is they're going to run to the nearest phone, which is right here or right here. And once they get to the phone, they're going to call the cop. This guy must be playing an MMO because he has not noticed a dead body behind him at all yet. we got to figure out how we're going to get rid of all these people in this room. This could be a little bit troublesome. If a big crowd of people sees you stab somebody, they all jump on you and kick the shit out of you. And you'll end up dying. And so it's actually kind of bad. That guy, you blacked out over the tub next to a dead body, dude. You must be pretty drunk. Either way, this party's about to get dead. Ugh. Stabby E accomplished. This room right here, I can set a bomb on the oven, but I'd rather I'd rather save it for when the cops come. I can stab this lady on the veranda. Ugh. She looks like she's wearing the outfit from Aeon Flux or something. Except it's the wrong color. That's another cartoon. I just referenced something that I totally didn't remember. It tastes like a shit! And then she runs into the bathroom and sees dead people. She has to vomit, but then she just kind of does it over the shoulder of the corpse and then comes back later. You gotta do what you gotta do when parties get wild. If there's not a stabbing or a murder at my party, I don't want to be there. I like how these people are just partying through, though. Like, everybody here is markedly aware of the fact that there are dead bodies everywhere. There's like, ah! I, I really think we can keg through this. I mean, if I wasn't seven beers in, I would strongly be reconsidering this location as a pro as a proper proposition for enjoyment and revelry. But unfortunately, oh good. What, oh, he gave us a stun bomb. Oh, it's on now. So he gave us a stun bomb. Sometimes these little serial flashers will come around and they'll give you items. Or if you get really lucky, when you start out on a map, there will be like a briefcase over here. Or there'll be like a drug deal in a back room. Each of the levels has random events that happen too. So for example, on this map, sometimes there's a drug deal going down in this room. And if you break it up, or if anybody sees the drug deal, the police come and they just start shooting people all over the place. And there's all kind of this that dance right there. Oh my god. This purple pants Rupert Grint guy is having the time of his life. This beat is fabulous. He is cutting a rug right there. He is cutting. Get it. Get it. Oh man. The dancing in this game is absurd. <laughs> That's actually a pretty good simulation of what happens when gingers dance. No joke. Ask a ginger near you, be like, hey, can you dance for me? I guarantee something that comes out look like that right there. I'm just messing with you, gingers, calm down. Like, I am never coming to this channel again. The one place where I thought people wouldn't notice my red hair, this guy just showed up and I don't know, Ked's shirtless with a cigarette in his mouth just walking up in your house. Who does that? He walks with such a slouch. He seems really, really unhappy about the fact that he's at a party. That is not me. When I'm at a party, I'm like, woo! I'm trash by 8.30. You better figure it out. That's me at the party. I'm leaving right now because the cops are like everywhere. And once the cop turns around, I'm going to stab this guy. We can also hide bodies in trash cans and also throw them down at manholes. So if you wanted to play around with manholes, this would be the game to do it in. Oh, it's another stab. There we go. And then enemies would take care of. Sometimes you can chop down these trees and sometimes you can't. It sort of depends. The amount of obstacles that you get to kill people with or the traps and things that you acquire... It's random every time that you play the game, and so if I was to reload this level, there would actually be a different assembly of traps around that I could kill people with. Oh, another stabbing. That guy's going to go for this phone over here. Yep, making a sprint for the telephono, because he said, oh no, when he saw the body of Bono. I didn't kill Bono. It's true. Bono is not dead right now. There's... There is no truth to that statement. I was trying to inflate my murders and make it seem like I had gotten somebody that was powerful and important and seems to have sway with a lot of people because he makes music that makes you sway in the crowd. You kind of get it? Anyway, it doesn't matter. Stabbed. Then we hide in the bathroom. It's the perfect plan. Stab a man. Hide in bathroom. Never get caught. Like, well, we could look for the murderer in the bathroom, but it's kind of smelly and gross in there. Nobody's applied the comment in a while, so I think I'll just leave it alone. Why is music playing? Oh, is it because I, it's because I'm by the bathtub? Gotcha, gotcha. And the final stabature. The final stabbing. 
Oh, and they found another dead guy. I'm gonna try and go in this room. I'm gonna hope that people are out of the room by the time... Step! Alright, so that's been solved. We gotta get the MMO kid now. Ooh, sorry pal, your character's dead and there won't be a corpse run this time. Except for the coroner. I like how the coroner wraps up the bodies, but he totally doesn't take them anywhere. He's like, eh, well, you know. A job half done and all that. Oh no, I don't want to be in here when he walks in, because he's going to see me with the body. He's going to blame me. We've murdered 27 people. I don't even know how to properly put that in frame. I don't know how to give that a term. Like, you know, triple homicide. We've done 27 old homicide. I don't even know what else to call it. But that's what I'm going to go with, because it seems like the easiest. They'll also tell the officer, who actually has a giant chin, he's trying to leave right now. That officer has the biggest chin I have ever seen, and I ain't talking about no chinchillas. Apparently, everybody that's run over by cars. That's right, the police will run over human beings and stuff on the way by. Let's use the golf cart. No, I knocked myself out with my own weapon of destruction. Apparently, everybody in this game is filled to the brim with ketchup, hot dogs, and bratwurst. Because that seems to be what pops out. Bow, 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 bow. I stab you in your face. Let's see. Actually, it might not even be in the face. This girl right here has, I don't know if she has scoliosis or what she has going on. That spinal configuration does not seem proper, though. She may want to consult a professional. Gotta figure out how the hell we're gonna get everybody in this room. It should be easy enough to get people in here. As long as they're not looking. There we go. So there's, oh shit. Now this over here, you see these little spots with the doors? If you see the spot with the door, that officer has terrible skills of deduction. A random guy in a hockey mask. V-neck and skinny jeans standing nearby all the corpses and nobody's suspicious. This is not a costume party. Nobody else here has their face covered but you, pal. The police are like, well, you know, police brutality and, you know, illegal policing is big in the news right now. I can't take you in. You, you look like a murderer, but I'm not allowed to stop you anymore. It is what it is. Oh, well, I'm leaving. That or we could just have a really, really complacent police force. Oh, no. Oh, it's time for some gymnastic murder. Is he just like kissing her in the back of the head? That doesn't seem that awesome. I don't know. As far as sex moves go, be like, girl, I want to kiss the back of your head. That sounds more violent than anything else. Like if I tell somebody I'm going to kiss the back of their head, it sounds like I'm going to do something violent, doesn't it? I don't know if I would break that move out in the middle of the passionate moment. Girl, let me kiss the back of your head. <laughs> oh, man. What a way to start a date. Somebody go test that one out this weekend. Go to the bar and just be like, girl. I want to kiss the back of your head. And just like, let me know what happens. So I can set up a bomb in here, and that's what nobody notices. This giant, very, very obvious bomb in the middle with an LED on it. Nobody seems to give a shit. Whatever. Good. It stun bomb everybody in the room. So now we should be able to hardcore murder everybody in here. Yup. Although, is there anything like a softcore murder? Like, does that even exist? I gotta get this guy now. Oh, and now you've been murdered too. Sucks to be you. I like this music. The synth drums are going. They're throbbing. That guy, that's a dedication to the craft right there. Dedication to the craft. Decapitated the dude. He is still scratching records. You can't stop. See, like, error, the error, the error can't stop this. He just keeps going. We got one guy left. Now, that little red bar above it said that means that he's paranoid. And anybody that's paranoid will actually, if they see you coming, they'll try and kick the shit out of you and kill you. And so, you have to attack him from behind. If you don't, you're going down. I'm going to get him when he comes out this door. Got him. And that's the end of the level. Man, I'm good at murdering. Who knew? Who knew, right? But how would you know you had a talent for something like that until you actually started doing it? And if you do have a talent... Oh, that is a crass party poster right there. I would not come to that party. It's a naked... It's a naked pubic pig with a bottle of what appears to be Jack Daniels. Like, eh, this party seems like the kind of place where you get murdered. This party seems like there's a snuff film being filmed out back. No, thank you. I don't think I want to be here for this type stuff. I'm not good for it. At the scene after the assailant had fled, correct? A little after 3 a.m., yeah. Were you aware of his current mental state at the time, Mr. West? His mental state? His confusion. The blood dripping from his hands, like someone else was driving him forward, yet a bright light leading him onwards. I heard that bright light, as you so eloquently put it, was just a bunch of biker trash scumbags in search of lost souls. Guess he must have hitched a ride with them somehow. Perhaps it was when they realized that the party was already dead. Excuse the pun. Speaking of dead, wasn't your daughter Katie at that party, Mr. West? Seeing her blood zigzagging between those bathroom tiles, it was like a sledgehammer using my stomach as a welcome mat. 
drowning without water. Jesus, she was so messed up that I couldn't even ID the body. John Ye West over here getting all eloquent about the whole thing. We gotta go to the bikies party and murder some more people now because why not? Sometimes you gotta stab. Sometimes you just gotta stab. It is what it is. I don't make the rules. They made the same pun that I made. Hmm. It was a pretty obvious pun though, so why worry about it? I suppose since they were in college, you could be like, it looks like your classes have been dropped. But I, I don't, that's still pushing the edge though. I don't know. This guy fell asleep in a bush over here. I have had that problem at parties as well. I will admit to it. I've had my problem with the menfolk. Let's poison the keg real fast and that'll just kill people. Really? They got a country singer over here? Oh shit. What was it? No! Stop punching me in the face! Oh good. Are the handcuffs over my head? Oh they are. Why am I getting arrested? Oh man. No, no that wasn't me. I didn't do anything. No! Oh I've been nightsticked. Well, I've been nice stuck. It's now in the past. That's all in the past. I like how he carries me without any arms. He just throws. He must have a huge shoulder. A huge, like, saddle shaped shoulder that he can just mount the body into. So we were caught by the popos, unfortunately. Let's do this thing. I do wish that the game had a hide mouse command or something. Because my mouse is constantly on screen. Like, I don't even know how long that's been there. Probably, like, the entire time I've played the game. Not even sure about it. I get focused on murder, and unfortunately, things get a little rowdy. I can probably get this guy over here. Yeah, down he goes. We got cowboys, we got bikers. Look at this weird rubber leg dance that they're doing up here. I don't think a leg is supposed to bend in that direction. There's a dead guy already? Oh, there must have been a fight. So you see, there's like random things that happen in between the people in the crowd too. Like sometimes some guy will stab another guy and then the police will come and arrest the guy that did the stabbing. This guy over here, jamming naked like he's in the Red Hot Chili Peps. This guy's on a shoulder dance. He's like, Arr. I enjoy this music and I am jumping for joy. Stop the floor, stop the floor in my blue suede shoes. He learned from Elvis. He learned from Elvis. If you can't do it in your blue suede shoes, why bother? Alright, so the horse should be able to kill a lot of people too. But we need a victim. Let's go see if we can find one. He just parks his horse outside the bullseye. Oh, we got this guy. Oh, it didn't work. Can you grab him with the front end of the horse? Oh, there's a stabbing. And another stabbing. And also possibly more stabbings. I could probably get somebody in here. Although there is a lot of flow through right now. Stabbing. Stabbing. Out the window. I like to be gymnastic about my murders. If you can't turn a triple somersault in between stabbing people in the throat, what kind of murderer are you? It's all about presentation and showmanship. How are you going to make the front page? It's going to put you on page like 6D if you can't do cartwheels while murdering. And dead. What is this? Ooh. We got some dinamite. I like dinamite. I'm gonna poison the keg real quick. And then I think the best use... Wait, why am I a killer? Did he see the body or did he see me? This might get a little rowdy. Where is he going? Oh, he's getting the officer. Oh, okay, so he saw me. Unfortunate, but unavoidable. So what we need to do right now is I need to time this trap with the officer on this side. Oh, nope, he gave up. It's too far. You mean I have to walk across an entire driveway to arrest that individual? Eh, I think I'm good for right now. Pushed into the fire. Oh, it didn't work. I want to push somebody into a fire. Oh, that guy's paranoia is ramping on up. I like the ceremonial headdresses that the coroner has on. I don't know, it's priest-like. Like, I take forth the dead bodies. I sing forth homilies. This wall has, like, no theme whatsoever. Dartboard, gun, axe, gun, fish, barrel. Like, all of these here, there's really, there's no theme to that wall at all. I'd be like, well, let's just put random objects on the wall and not worry about it. I'm going to go through there. And then I'm going to set the room on fire and come over here. Is that, oh my god, I stabbed a bear. Who knew? Apparently you can stab a bear. All right. It's like Build-A-Bear. Stab-A-Bear Workshop. It's a place to get all those violent tendencies out of your system. Sometimes you got to stab a bear. I don't know. Guy over here just dancing by himself in his Devo hat in the yard. You must whip it. Whip it good. Turn it round. Jam it up. Yellow shoes. Pink ass shirt. Oh no, he kicked the shit out of me. He looked weak, but he was stronger than I expected. Are the chickens kicking my ass right now too? God damn. Welcome to chicken kicking. 
Hmm. I should probably come up with some kind of plan here. I am going to flee for my life. I'm going to flee for my life. That means he's going to have to seal off this spot, but we'll be more careful after we get done with all this. He'll give up eventually, I hope. He's a persistent little prick. He enjoys his job too much. I'm too old for this shit. The murderer is inside the room with me, but you know what? I can't do this. I'm going to set a bomb right there, and it's going to be awesome unless they all leave. Who would do such a terrible thing? Oh, dude. Apparently SWAT is now here. What SWAT is doing here, I'm not really sure, but SWAT is a special event where they just run around pistol whipping people. That's all they do. They show up and just pistol whip innocent people for like 25 seconds. Yourself included if you screw this up. I don't know where this cop is at, but I'm just going to hide for a while. Because I'm afraid of the consequences of my actions. Is that chicken eating a dead body? Dude, that's so metal. Enemy down. The dude's running around just like smacking the shit out of people with nightsticks. I would consider murdering several chickens over here if I could get a- oh shit, the officer's coming. Yep, stabbed. Stabbed! And then you use this thing right here to escape. They'll fix it up in just a minute. In fact, the plumber's already coming, but it bought me a little bit of time. If I can make my way like halfway across the yard, we might be safe. No, Officer Big Chin, leave me alone! Your enormous protruding stone-like... Mount Rushmore looking chin terrifies me. Please don't touch me. I have a fear of chins. I have a fear of chins. No. This is the worst for me. I hope you know that. That this is like the worst that it could possibly be. Being chased by a man with a giant chin. I have phobias. I have real phobias. And you've been stabbed. And then I run you over with a car. There are several men dressed like pirates serving drinks, so I can only assume that this is a biker slash, I don't know, biker slash redneck slash pirate party. I don't think those themes necessarily blend in the way that they intended when they put it on the flyer, but you know what? Now is not the time. We only have eight more victims to kill, octuple homicide to commit. I like his little shuffle dance right there. It's pretty awesome. He's always got like his Mickey Mouse ears on, but they go backwards. It's a bandana. I know, don't. Just don't ruin the magic. Just don't do it. Every time I say stuff like that, somebody ruins the magic like, actually, that's a bandana. I don't know if you've ever seen one before, but it's called a bandana. And I'm like, no, you're ruining the mystique and the magic. Why? Why? Cowboy murder. And then we'll kill off a chicken real fast. Mm, I love chicken tenders. Chicken tenders are amazing. Did you ever have a chicken tender that was not? Like, a chicken tender that was really, really difficult to chew? I have had that experience, and it was not enjoyable. I kind of want to save that booby trap for the popos. Oh, never mind. He's coming for me. Bad boy. What is that knight doing? What in the hell? There's a knight on a sheep? Ooh, we killed the cop with a bear trap. Sometimes you got to catch his ass up on a bear trap. Ooh, okay. So we've got what looks like maybe the CIA or the government here or something, or the FBI. I'm not really sure. Clearing sectors. I cleared sectors one time, but that was in IT. That was a D-band joke. A Black Forest joke? Well, fine then. Sometimes you gotta wipe some sectors. It is what it is. Like, this sector is clear. Of all bad sectors. And you have been stabbed in the booty hole. Enjoy! He'd be like, I will not enjoy that. You can't command me to do so. Regroup, team! Dun 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 we only have four more murders to commit. All we have to do is avoid the FBI until we complete our murderous spree. Oh, no. Yeah, I kicked him. I kicked him. I got him. Oh, that was so awesome. Thank you, horse. Thank you, horse. You are the best. You are the best. Hmm. I'm going to stab that guy, and then I'm going to run away. And then when the police come, I'm going to pretend like it wasn't me. It wasn't me. But you got me red-handed. It wasn't me. Caught me stabbing on the sofa. It wasn't me. Even stabbing in the shower. Mm -mm. I guess you heard the screams get louder. You don't change that line, do you? I think if I can get that guy before he runs to the cops, we should be able to finish this thing off. But he's right next to the phone, which is bad. 
Oh, I was hoping that CIA or FBI guy would go in the other room. Then we can get these last two pretty easily. Is he on me right now? Oh no, he's trying to get that body right there. Okay. Stab. Man, I am a master stabber. You see that right there? That was solid horror movie work right there. The police are inside the house and people are still getting murdered. I would watch that movie. I'm like, no! He's inside the closet! Run! Run, he's in the closet! I don't watch horror movies that much anymore. Time for the final stabbing. Ah, you are my final victim. Taste sweet release, biker man. And then we party with the FBI. Party with the FBI. Womp womp. Party with the FBI. Womp womp. Anyways, my name is Splattercat. This is Party Hard. I'll see y'all next time. I do, everybody.